Welcome back to Short Times. Today I am going to walk you through the film The Machine from 2013, directed by Caradog W. James. So here we go. The film begins in the near future. The United Kingdom has only a few weeks before the city of Taipei, Taiwan falls to the Chinese from an underground base. The British require soldiers who are both proficient in Chinese and deadly killers. British Ministry of Defense scientists secretly create a cybernetic device that helps brain-damaged soldiers to regain lost functions. Scientist Vincent McCarthy gives a psychological test to soldier Paul Dawson, who has received a cybernetic implant to help him recover from a left hemispherectomy. Upset with Dawson's inability to remember anything about his past and apparent lack of empathy. Following that, McCarthy ignores Dawson's requests to see his mother. Dawson turns hostile, kills a scientist and wounds McCarthy so the project head Thomas shoots him. Afterwards, Dawson's mother regularly stays on the road to the entrance of the secret base, though McCarthy denies that her son was ever there. McCarthy's research leads to a series of more stable cyborgs. Despite their loss of human speech skills, the cyborgs develop a very efficient way of communicating that they keep hidden. McCarthy hires Ava by offering her unlimited cash for her research when she exhibits her newest breakthrough in artificial intelligence. Thompson, the director, is skeptical of Ava's counter-cultural beliefs and sympathies for Dawson's mother, but he caves when McCarthy insists that she is the only one who can supply the necessary programming for their current project, a self-aware and conscientious cyborg. Mary, McCarthy's daughter, has Rett syndrome, a neurological condition, and McCarthy intends to use this technology to assist her. Ava offers to assist when she learns more about his daughter, and McCarthy conducts a brain scan of her. After some days, during a demonstration of robotic arms that grant superhuman power to amputee soldier James, he whispers a scream for assistance to Ava. She starts to question how the injured soldiers are being treated. McCarthy sharply cautions her not to cause trouble after she starts exploring in the base. The warning arrives too late, so Thompson arranges for a Chinese Ministry of State security agent posing as Dawson's mother, to have Ava killed. Ava's death has left McCarthy heartbroken. Later, McCarthy insists on using her brain scan and face for the new project, named Machine. The machine turns out to be more human than they intended. She expresses regret when she mistakenly kills a human being, and opposes commands that break her moral conscience. Machine grows increasingly disturbed when Thompson's demands conflict with her ethics, and she begs McCarthy to protect her. Following that, McCarthy and Thompson become increasingly aggressive. If McCarthy can prove that Machine is conscious, Thompson pledges to give in. The following evening, McCarthy's daughter Mary's condition worsened, and he took her to the hospital. Once she was back to normal, McCarthy replicated her daughter's brain. The next day she passed away. After Mary's death, Thompson threatens McCarthy with the destruction of her brain scans. Unless McCarthy extricates Machine's consciousness, McCarthy has grown to be adored by the Machine. While the Machine volunteers to die for Mary, and he removes a chip from Machine's head, Thompson breaks his word and instructs Machine to assassinate McCarthy. Later, a scientist discovers and warns Thompson that the surgery was a fake, and that it just disabled fail-safe mechanisms intended to kill Machine even though Machine initially appears to obey. Later, McCarthy is set free by the machines and cyborgs that revolt against humans. Thompson disables half of the cyborgs from his computer console, but Suri, his cyborg helper, overcomes his access before he can kill the rest. Thompson shoots and injures Suri, but Machine seizes him in his office, injured. He forces her to obey first, then begs for his life. Despite her roles not to kill him, Machine lobotomizes him, just as he attempted to do to her. Machine downloads Mary's brain scan after thinking Thompson is dead. After that, at outside, McCarthy passes the base records to Dawson's mother and goes to start a new life with Machine. Later, McCarthy talks to a computer-generated version of his daughter in the final scene, and she asks to play a game with her mother. Machine is shown receiving the tablet from McCarthy, and looking back and forth between it, and a stunning orange sunset over the Atlantic Ocean, while the film faded to a dark screen. 